and still developing throughout South Florida. Trouble at the tap. Scientists have been tirelessly working to eliminate toxic chemicals from our drinking water. Local 10's Hatzel Vela spoke with those experts and joins us live from North Miami with everything you need to know. Hatzel. Louis, remember just recently, the Broward County Commission took up the issue of these toxic chemicals in our drinking water. Tonight, we take a deeper dive with researchers here at FIU on, as to what's happening really across South Florida. Inside this Florida International University lab. After we have collected the samples. Work being done to learn more about PFAS, what's often called forever chemicals. I'm not going to lie to you, like it, it is a big issue. Natalia Suarez Quinete is an assistant professor at the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry and with the Institute of Environment. We find it in water, we find it in in soil, we find in biosolids, we have been found in rainwater. She heads the department that's been closely studying these man-made chemicals and the risk they pose to our health. We, uh, we collected tap water. Their studies include taking samples right here in South Florida, Miami-Dade, Broward and Palm Beach counties. We found out like that those compounds are like everywhere. <laughs> And the numbers, she says, are typically more concentrated in areas like airports, military bases. And the concentration varies. A couple weeks ago, the issue of these chemicals in our drinking water came up before Broward County commissioners. I think the people need to know what they're drinking and what's in the water. And if there's something that's potentially not safe, they need to know about it. In Broward, cities will soon need to take action to reduce the amounts of these toxic chemicals in the water. The original sample is already colored this week. Back in the lab, it's not just a problem with water. Try to avoid cooking with Teflon pans. Try not to use those water resistant uh, makeups because they also have PFAS. When it comes to water at home, filters can help, but it's not a 100% effective solution. You can minimize, but it's still there. Yes, it is, sadly. And so back out live, we should tell you that the EPA is uh, working on new regulations that they say will diminish the amount of these toxic chemicals in our drinking water. So much information to learn, so we've posted a lot of it on our website. You can find it on local10.com. For now, reporting live from North Miami, I'm Hatsofala, Local 10 News.